Okay, before we get into this video, I first have to show you something. If my ice maker could not just randomly turn on while I'm filming. Do you want to do something fun? Do you want to go to Taco Bell? I can't go to Taco Bell. I'm on an all-carb diet. God, Karen, you are so stupid. You all know what this channel was basically started, founded, if you will, on the basis of boobs. I vlogged the boob job. I vlogged the recovery. I've now done three videos with Up Bra, the company that makes... <laughs> As if this would explain to you what they make. Well, kind of. Today, before we get into the video, I am once again here to show you my boobs. <laughs> I don't really know how else to say that, but look what I have. Yeah, hello. Fourth time working with Upbra, right? You can't trust a nipple. Thank Holy. You. I don't know if you can tell. Cleavage, as you can see. Thank you, Upbra, for partnering with me again. Yeah, it's the fourth time. <laughs> Once again, I'm partnering with Upbra, and I want to show you the magic that these babies work. First one is this black convertible strapless. It comes with little straps several different ways. You could do crisscross, you could do one strap, you could do... You could literally... I was gonna say you could change the world. That was like a little much for what's. And then this is the everyday t-shirt bra. Hi! The convertible strapless is actually recently redesigned. Better than ever, if you can believe that. They sent little extenders, which is really cool. That being said, let's, not let's, I am going to show you guys my titty transformation. We love an alliteration, sister. An alliteration angel. You know. Oh my gosh, I think I wore this shirt in like my second up bra video. Holy! I don't know if you can tell, but okay, so full circle. This is my before. So I just threw it on. It's on the tightest notch, but if you're new here and you didn't know, I have not even tightened the inside yet, which is really what gives you like the ultimate cleave. As much as you want, as much cleave as you want. It's the other side. Holy tits, literally. <laughs> this is the strapless convertible bra. Obviously I don't have any of the straps on. Here we have the after. Now let's try the t-shirt bra. Does anyone else have like really puny shoulders? It's not an issue with this bra because it can tighten all the way But like with certain tops where it only tightens like this much like I'll tighten it all the way and then they'll still fall off my shoulders Like I thought that would stop being a problem once I got tits, but it didn't I don't know why my shoulders are just small or something. I don't really know what that means number one yo I really like this, especially for just like the everyday t-shirt bra because it's so comfortable and I feel like it definitely has more coverage up here than the strapless one. Yes, bitch. Oh. Now for the after. Damn. And there you have it, my boob transformation once again. <laughs> highly, 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 highly recommend a bra. I wouldn't work with the company four times if I didn't. I mean, I wouldn't one time, but like, you know what I mean. <laughs> I also have a $10 off coupon code, which I'll put right here and also down below. I'll have all up bras information down below. Now, back to me from the past, on with the video. Okay guys, it's late. I need to go home to my kitty and I didn't show you what I got from Target. I guess I could wait until I get home, but like I brought it all the way up here. <laughs> and I kind of want to use a makeup wipe right now anyway. It's kind of hard to show you stuff and take off makeup at the same time. So um, I'll show you everything that's not skincare makeup, I guess, because that's less stuff. I got Kristen S. Hairspray. I got Jergens Skin Firming Lotion. The only reason I get this is my second bottle now. It smells so good. Like it's not like fruity or anything. It kind of smells like man, but like, I don't even know how to explain it. It smells so fucking good. Like, go get it. Visibly firmer skin. I don't know. I only use it, like, on my arms and, like, my calves. So, like, who really knows? My sister owes me big time. If you're watching this, you owe me big time, girl. Just kidding. You really don't. But this is not a transactional relationship. This is a transformative relationship. You know? Is that the right word? I don't know. I know it's not transactional. Anyway. Oh, this is for hair. I got this Biotin Boost detangler. I don't think putting biotin on your hair really fucking does anything, but everything else I got is for my face, so. Anyway, I'm gonna pack up my stuff, even though I feel like I just got here because I kind of did like an hour ago. Today just like went by too fast. It's like weirding me out how fast it went by. I don't even know what happened to it. Like, what the hell? Disco was just staring at me like, who the fuck are you talking to? You've got to be used to it. I know Jess talks to you and I know she talks to herself. Love that using my camera screen to see if I have my makeup off. I prefer to use a cleansing balm, but I just got these makeup wipes for my car for like if I have a long drive home and I want to take my makeup off at the end of the day, which I've been doing a lot lately because I've been getting home super late. But I look rough, you guys. Neutrogena Hydro Boost City Shield. So this is for like pollution and like, not like I really need that right now, but oh. Oh gosh, I hate the spray on this. I got another face spray. Olay Mist. Oh. Oh my gosh. What does this smell like? This smells like something from my childhood. 
It's gonna bug me if I can't figure that out. That this smells like something from my childhood. Oh my gosh, it's like right there. <laughs> Damn. All right, I have to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Put my shirt back on, I guess. Took it off because I was sweating, but I'm not trying to get attacked as I walk back to my car. It took me so long to find street parking. I hate, I'm not moving anywhere with street parking. That's one thing I love about where I live is I have a parking spot. Though I did get broken into that one time, so. My sister just texted me that, come here. My sister just texted me that she gets home at 4.30 or she gets in at 4.30, but it's 2.15 right now and I was just about to leave to go see Disco today. And she was like, you don't have to go. Like I could just, when I get home, but like I want to go and that way she'll see a human sooner. But I was there super late last night. So that's why it's like two now and I haven't gone yet. I've been hanging out with Bug. Actually, I've been editing the vlog that you're watching possibly. I'm not really sure. Probably not. I'm not really sure. I told you guys last night that I would do a haul of some stuff that I got from Target. In fact, this is probably a different video. Okay, I'm like so confused. I'm gonna do that right now. And also a couple other things that I got in the mail. My camera is stuck on here. My camera is stuck on my gorilla pod like i can't unscrew it so i can't put my camera on my on my ring light mount so i have like my gorilla pod literally wrapped around my ring light right now which is so stupid but i can't get it off like it's it's in there so have you been extra lovey today also i just got a package from doll scale i think it's shoes because it's in a box i mean they ow they send me stuff that i pick out and i picked out like a bunch of clothes so i don't know if this is just like extra or whatnot but get into this haul because my camera has 20 percent and i have to poop <laughs> i already just showed you guys the up bra so hope you enjoyed that actually haven't filmed it yet but i'm going to let's start with the beauty stuff i think some of it is in my car still because i mentioned yesterday i don't know if it's in this video that this whole bag like spilled while i was driving and so i tried to like pick everything up and put it in but i think i missed some stuff and then i showed you guys a couple things yesterday like the makeup wipes and stuff i'm gonna go through these kind of quick because it's not really that important and I've actually used a lot of these today, so I can tell you how I like them. I got the number seven match made custom blend foundation drops. Basically, you can mix it in with primer or moisturizer and it will match your skin. I use these today. It's what's on my face right now. Hello. I mean, I also used concealer, but I really like these so far. At Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Tint Pen. I've got this before. I really liked it, but it ran out like super quick, like literally after three days of using it. It was like not really working anymore, but it basically gives you like a kind of microbladed look. I liked it, but it doesn't last very long, but I figured I would try it again. I got the Olay Ultimate Hydration Essence Mist. Oh yeah, I sprayed this last night and it smelled like something. <gasps> I wonder if I can figure it out now. gonna bug me but this smells like something from my childhood it's gonna bug the crap out of me i used both of these today this is the revlon rose glow hydrating and illuminating primer didn't really love this it says to put it in your hands and then like warm it up because there's like chunks in here that are supposed to melt like chunks of oil which i don't really know but like they didn't really melt and then i put it on my face and i had to like wipe off i don't know i kind of had a feeling i wouldn't like this because i don't like primer that's like this it's good when i used this and then put another primer on top of it so i also got this number seven skin paste it's like a peel 10.5 percent aha pha treatment um you put it on avoid eyebrow and lip area and leave for 15 minutes what's muslin cloth does it come with that it says soak the muslin cloth maybe it comes with that because i don't know what the fuck that is do you like my little table that i have here it can go up and be like a standing desk but it's also i've just been using it to sit on my couch and put my laptop on it because i normally put my laptop on my lap it helps immensely okay i got this already tried it this morning i don't really know how i feel about it yet i didn't really pay attention but it's just um the l'oreal revita lift 1.5 percent pure hyaluronic acid serum hyaluronic acid basically just like plumps your skin up or it can like reduce wrinkles if you have aging skin i guess i'll update you on that like if anyone gives a fuck i got the bliss rose gold rescue gentle moisture cream for sensitive skin nothing's focusing so that's fun i have another bliss moisturizer and it's kind of like illuminating and i really 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 like it i have heard jeffree star talk about this elf foundation so i got it duh it's the elf flawless finish foundation i'm super impressed with elf products lately i talked about how i've been using the foundation serum like every day camouflage concealer like every single day which is funny because the camouflage concealer is like super full coverage but the foundation serum is like very light coverage just like a nice like your skin but better type of thing but like that's kind of what i need right now because my skin is doing really well but I always have dark bags under my eyes. And even now, I think it's more just like, I think 
more so than like darkness it might just be like hollow i don't know though i don't know i don't know anyway and then this was a new neutrogena neutrogena foundation nourishing long wear makeup tone correcting complex it, it's like light coverage but there's sunscreen in it i don't know i really hated this bottle unless there's like a pump or something i don't know if it just pours out oh like why? why why do we do that i don't i don't like that oh i didn't even know i got this whatever actually i think it said to use these two in conjunction so that's probably why i got it but this is an eye treatment repair wrinkles reduce bags and lift eye area so who knows maybe this will actually help me cover girl clean professional loose powder and i got the medium so this is like to set my whole face my camera's gonna die i got my favorite l'oreal true match blush which is in the shade innocent flush it's like coral i got a foundation brush which is shocking because i usually always use a beauty blender but for the elf serum i like using a brush to help it be like more lightweight light coverage so i got a sonia kashuk foundation brush another because i went through well my other one got kind of old and chunky but the covergirl exhibitionist mascara is my favorite right now it's what i'm wearing today it's actually really really good i got another elf hydrating primer because i went through a whole one of these i like this primer it's really good wet and wild liquid cat suit lipstick in the shade nudie patootie oh and i got another liquid cat suit in the shade send nudes because I, I if you haven't noticed i pretty much only wear nude colors if i'm wearing i'm not wearing anything on my lips but if i'm wearing stuff on my lips i really like nude colors and then i got the elf hello hydration face cream with hyaluronic acid and peptide complex and lastly at least in this bag i got cody airspun powder i didn't know that they sold this at target and it was like super random like they only had one thing from cody and it was like on the bottom in the corner and there was only one shade left one powder left and it was naturally neutral i would have preferred translucent or even like bug translucent or like the more medium one because this one's like it's a light powder and it's not necessarily translucent but i did use it to set my under eyes today and i like it it smells kind of funny to me which is weird because i always hear tati using this and like raving about it and she doesn't like scented stuff but yeah i found it at target and that was really cool because i've been like wanting to order some online um but i'm just like what's the point but it was there so i got it and that's all of the beauty stuff my camera's gonna freaking die but i can start showing you some of the shirts that i got so this is one of the shirts i got from target um this one i'm going to crop the shirts at target are either oversized or cropped there's like no in between um but i want to crop this one but i think it's i don't know i think it's cute it's not like super cheesy and cliche like all the other ones i saw this britney shirt and i had to get it this is an extra small see it's like very oversized i'll probably crop it i don't know i lost my other britney shirt that i used to have oh my gosh so excited about this hey arnold love that and they had this goonies shirt which i'm definitely gonna crop because this is just like kind of an odd fitting shirt i literally was wearing an mtv shirt yesterday i think it was probably this but in white but i got this one and i'll probably cut it just like i did to the one that i was wearing yesterday which is like i cut the neck off and then i saw this guinness shirt and it's already cropped cute i have tons of these little cheap shirts from wild fable but i really like them just a plain little cropped black v-neck i think i have this one in white already but yeah i love i wear these like all the time all the little basic shirts i got this juicy hoodie on clarence from 6 p.m and i like it because it's not like obnoxiously juicy it just looks like this the only place it says juicy is right here it doesn't even have like the j zipper or anything zip up sweatshirt and it was super cheap um or you know super discounted it's originally 90 i think i got it for like 20 or something it's cute i like the really obnoxious juicy stuff i'm not gonna lie but like this i don't know what it is yet it's from doll's kill it's in a box that says horoscopes which is one of their brands this is gonna stop recording any second oh they put like everything in this box so i'm gonna come back to this because i have to go sorry hello friends i don't know if this is already a vlog or if this is a new vlog but regardless hello i just got to well i'm in i'm at the top of a parking garage right now this is like a seven story thing and there were spots like i just wanted to go to the top because i wanted to be outside and there's a really cool view and i have to get a photo in my outfit which my sister was supposed to take but then she <laughs> bailed and there's the hollywood sign over there i don't know if you're seeing that even 
Anyway, I'm here. I have to be, I think it's three right now. I have to be down at the bottom. Actually, I think I have to walk a little bit because where I'm going is on Rodeo and Rodeo is super freaking busy because it's super freaking bougie. It's so funny. It's on my nose. It's so funny to see all the people walking around Rodeo and like, I kid you not, like I saw probably 10 to 15 sets of couples that were like sugar daddy, sugar baby. And in every single scenario, the girl just looked so like she didn't want to be there, but like they're on Rodeo Drive, like suck it up, honey. Ugh, I need a sugar daddy. <laughs> I'm wearing my new red boots that I think I showed you. I don't know if it was in this video or not. I guess I should open my door. Ooh, it's nice. Out. Red boots. Hello, stomach roll. Dolls kill pants that are like laced up. I showed them in a try on haul, but this is actually one of the Romeway shirts that I got, which you'll probably be seeing soon in a try on haul. Okay. Hello again. So I'm like trying to get photos, right? And I'm like on the top of this parking structure. Okay. This guy's just going to leave now. What was he just watching me? Okay. What the hell? I got up here, I took like three photos, and then like just one random car comes up and parks like super close to me. And he was there the whole time. And then I was sitting in my car literally for like 30 minutes just now, like looking at emails on my phone and stuff like that. Oh my God, did I just like <laughs> hallucinate or did he just like speed out of here? Anyway, he was there the whole time and just now as I'm turning on my camera and backing out, he left. Where did his car go though? I left like right behind him and I'm not seeing him. That was so weird. He was just sitting in his car the whole time. They were probably just, I don't know, looking at security cameras and wondering why I was outside. But like, it's not trespassing, it's a fucking parking. <laughs> it's not like it's the roof of a hotel. Like I've gotten kicked off of roofs before, but it's literally just the parking structure. I don't know. I'm going down the same parking structure and I'm gonna park somewhere because I didn't want to go down six flights of stairs in these heeled boots. It's such a nice day though. Like I was just, even before I was taking photos, I was just like sitting, oh no, did I miss like all the spots? Are there gonna be any spots left? I was just like sitting out there. It's just so nice. But yeah, I'm actually going to a dermatologist right now, which is why I really needed to get photos because I'm like 99% sure that they're going to take off my face. Although I only wore a, all I wore today on my on my skin were the number seven foundation drops, which are just like, you're supposed to mix them in with moisturizer. It's super light coverage, but my skin is just like, it's, it's good right now, but I don't know. I guess it just looks better in photos to have it like look more even. Cause I don't really know how to fucking, I mean, I know how to edit photos, but I don't have like any, I don't have Photoshop. I don't have freaking, what else do people use? Lightroom. I don't have any of that. I'll usually just use uh, VSCO, Visco, which I only, I knew it was a thing, but I didn't really know. Wait, why did my gaslight, I could just got gas. I didn't really know. I thought it was just kind of like social media site where you could like take photos, edit them, and then post them there. I didn't know you could like save them. I don't know. I just didn't look into it. So I got into it. I don't know if it's Visco or VSCO. Like probably like three or four months ago. And now like you put a filter on that bitch on any photo and it makes the photo look good. So it's a very easy way to make it look like you spent time editing your photos. Okay, I need to go. Of course I have to pee now. Like I'll bring you with me mostly because I don't want to. Well, I'm leaving my laptop in the car. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I mean, I definitely shouldn't do that. But like, but I'm going to bring you just because why not? Why not? Take a crazy chance. Why not do a crazy dance? I hope I'm not late, ironically, after I like got here so early and like, it was just... Why is my ISO? So... How do I get out? Oh, my pants. Okay, my pants have these laces on the bottom of them and I'm like tripping over them. I haven't worn these pants because they're kind of awkward. They're like cropped at the ankle and flared. So I knew I needed like booties to wear with them. Um, ground. Then I got these red booties and my hair parted in the middle earlier, maybe not. Anyway, I'm gonna get my rash looked at right now. <laughs> Should be fun. Mm -hmm. Alright, thanks, man. I'm excited. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah love, love that you come by. I love you so. Okay, bye. I don't have makeup on. I took off all my face makeup. I tried to record while we were talking, but I didn't do it till the very end. I was just talking to Sky from Tipsy Bartender. You gonna be seeing me there again real soon, okay? Okay. Hi y'all. Why do I do that? I just filmed the up bra thing that you saw at the beginning of this video. I've been trying to film it for several days. Well, like four days now. Just filmed it. I'm about to head out and I need to edit very badly. I need to respond to some emails very badly. But I'm gonna go put my Taco Bell shirt back on because 
That's what I was wearing before, but I wanted to wear a low cut shirt for this video. My ring light is just like being weird lately. I'll see you in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Why did my mom always used to say that? I need my money! <laughs> Relax for a minute. Don't know how to start this at all without sounding awkward. It's been a while since I've done a sponsorship, clearly. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. These are ski goggles. No, they're not. Don't, I'm not gonna mess up my face for that bit. Slip up out the back up here, sneak up out the front door. One zip a pack of Maggie's, baby. Don't know what she in for. Let's do it to it. I'm injecting mama with do it.